Hey guys, Average Joe here. Uh, now that you've prepped your workspace, we are going to remove the end caps on the dumbbell. It doesn't make a difference if you have 552 Series 1, Series 2, or 1090. The process is the same. In fact, the entire installation process is the same for all three models of dumbbell. But I'm going to use this 552 Series 1 for this series of videos start to finish. So, when I work with these dumbbells, I prefer to stand them vertically. Some people you've seen on YouTube will do disassembly horizontally. That's just asking for trouble. There are a lot of little parts like ball bearings and springs in here that are easy to lose. When I'm working on them, I like to work on them vertically. It makes it a lot easier to do assembly and disassembly. So, I stand the dumbbell on end and we need to remove the cap on each end. Now these caps have already been removed in the past. I'm just going to do this as an example. You've got a variety of different choices of tools that you can use, but let's say you just have an ordinary screwdriver at your disposal. You need to be very careful as you're digging under this cap because it's very easy to have the screwdriver scratch across the cap. If you care about the appearance of the cap, work carefully. You're going to get the screwdriver under and you're going to work your way around the cap until it starts lifting out. Same thing if you're using, you know, tools like this. Get under the cap, work your way around. And what you're going to find is it's an adhesive on here. If you don't touch this, usually it'll stick again fine when you're done, which is great. I wouldn't recommend gluing this back on later. Uh, if the adhesive works, great. If you want to use double-sided tape, great. But don't glue this back on. It'll be so difficult to get off again. So when you remove your cap, you're just going to put it face up. If it's 552 Series 1 or if it's 1090, it's this style of end cap. So it's got that adhesive back, put it face up so that you don't get it all dirty and ruin the adhesion. If it is a 552 Series 2, it's a plastic cap, and you can see I actually gouged this one a couple times. I buggered the edge right there trying to remove it. That's pretty typical if you're rushing. Uh, if you do it carefully and with a thin enough blade, you can get under the cap, go all around the, the perimeter, and pull that cap off. So on a 552 Series 2, it's not an adhesive cap, but a push-in kind of plug on that dumbbell. So that's it. Once you do one side, repeat again for the other side, and your caps are removed, and we'll move on to the next step, which is the disassembly. I'll see you in the next video.